the maths teachers welcome you all back to the e learning program let us recall what was taught in the previous video we learned checking addition and subtraction addition and subtraction together today's concepts are finding the missing digits word problem estimating the difference let us take up the first concept finding the missing digits 8835 is called minuend 5869 is difference so we need to find out the subtrahend when we want to find the missing digits in subtrahend follow the formula minuend minus difference is equal to subtrahend let us see in the step 1 In the ones place, five minus dash is equal to nine. Since five is less than nine, it could be fifteen minus dash is equal to nine. That is, borrowing ten ones from three tens, leaving two tens in the tens column. Therefore, fifteen minus nine is equal to six. Write six in the ones missing column. Step two. In the tens place, two minus six is equal to six. Here also, two is less than six. Borrowing one hundred from eight hundreds, leaving seven hundreds in the hundreds column. So twelve minus six is equal to six. Already six is there in the tens column. Step three. In the hundreds place, seven minus dash is equal to eight. Since seven is less than eight, it could be seventeen minus dash is equal to eight. That is, borrowing ten hundreds from eight thousands, leaving seven thousands in the thousands column. That is, seventeen minus eight is equal to nine. Write nine in the hundreds missing column. Step four. In the thousands place, seven minus dash is equal to five. Seven is greater than five. Seven minus five is equal to two. Write two in the thousands missing column. Thus, the missing digits are two, nine, and six. Let us take up one more example. Here you can see some of the minions are missing, and one of the difference is missing. When we want to find the missing digits in minuend, formula to be followed: difference plus subtrahend is equal to minuend. When we want to find the missing digits in difference, formula to be followed: minuend minus subtrahend is equal to difference, as we all know that. Let us see. Step one: in the ones place, dash minus four is equal to one. So adding four plus one is equal to five. Write five in the ones missing column. Step two: in the tens place, seven minus eight is equal to dash. Since seven is less than eight, borrowing ten tens from nine hundreds, leaving eight hundreds in the hundreds column. That is, seventeen minus eight is equal to nine. Write nine in tens missing column. Step three: in the hundreds place, eight minus seven is equal to one. Since eight is greater than seven, you can subtract easily. Step four: in the thousands place, dash minus one is equal to three. So adding one plus three is equal to four to find the minute. So write four in the thousands missing column. Let us take up the second concept, word problem. The available balance in Shivani's savings account was rupees eight thousand eighty six. She withdrew rupees one thousand seven hundred seventy. How much money was left in her account? Step one. The given problem is about the money left in her account. Step two: Note down the information from the problem. Here, total balance in Shivani's savings account is rupees eight thousand eighty-six. Amount withdrawn is rupees one thousand seven hundred seventy. So we need to find out amount left in her account. 
step 3 here the key word is left this is subtraction we need to subtract 1770 from 8086 step 4 let us subtract 8086 which is called median 1770 is called subtrahend and the difference is 6316 so amount left in her account was rupees 6316 let us take up one more example there were 1424 passengers on a train 289 people got off the train at one station how many passengers were left on the train step 1 the given problem is about the number of passengers on a train step 2 note down the information from the problem the number of passengers already traveling in the train 1424 the number of passengers who got off 289 we need to find out the number of passengers left in the train third step here the key word is left this is subtraction we need to subtract 289 from 1424 step 4 let us subtract 1424 is called many and minus 289 which is called subtrahend and the difference is 1135 so the number of passengers left in the train is 1135 let us take up the third concept estimating the difference Estimate the difference by rounding each number to the nearest hundred, then compare it with the actual difference. Example 9234 minus 2105. In 9234, the digit at the tens place is 3, which is less than 5. So 9234 can be rounded off to 9200. Similarly, 2105 has 0 in its tens place which is less than 5. So, 2105 is rounded off to 2100. So, let us find the actual difference and estimated difference by writing in the place value chart. The actual difference of 9234 minus 2105 is 7129. Estimated difference is 9200 minus 2100 is equal to 7100. So the estimated difference is close to the actual difference. Let us take up one more example. 4762 minus 3945. In 4762, the digit at the tens place is 6, which is greater than 5, adding 1 to 7 in hundreds place. So, 4762 can be rounded off to 4800. Similarly, in 3945, the digit at the tens place is 4, which is less than 5. So, 3945 can be rounded off to 3900. So let us find out the actual difference and estimated difference by writing in the place value chart. The actual difference of 4762 minus 3945 is equal to 817. The estimated difference of 4800 minus 3900 is equal to 900. Here, 817 is less than 900. So, the actual difference is less than the estimated difference. In the previous video, we had given the assignment. Hope you all have completed it. Let's check the answers. First main, write two subtraction facts for each of the following. Second main, find the sum and check your answers using subtraction. Third main, find the difference and check your answers using addition. Fourth main, solve the following.
today's assignment. First me, fill in the missing digits. The missing digits are 4, 2 and 9. Second me, solve the following word problems. The answer of the first problem has been done for you. Third me, estimate the difference by rounding each number to the nearest hundred. Then compare it with actual difference. One has been done for you. Children, hope you are completing in the math notebook. Thank you.